Hi guys, Chris here from Azon Dominator. Um, I thought I'd do you a quick video because we're sort of into the new year now, getting back into it. And obviously with Amazon you'll be looking more at all year round products and so on. So I thought I'd start the year off um, and give you a, a checklist. Um, something that you can follow, a sort of half action plan, half checklist of things to um, sort of tick off when you when you're building the sites now what I also want to do is I know that I've told you about a lot of stuff in the last few weeks um, you know I've got the new Amazon 2014 course and again that's just going you know with all these new courses I, I get a lot of questions like do you absolutely need to the new course the answer is no um, you don't absolutely need the new course all I do is when I create the courses it, it's quite good for me because as I create them and I sort of think right anyone can follow that um, I'm proved wrong countless times because obviously I'm looking at it from one perspective the things I find easy when I build the sites the content creation the graphics anything like that the things that I've sort of um, done over the years that I might find easy people have trouble with I mean even down to like the the hosting and domain name buying and all the technical stuff and then also the fact that you can be put off because of all the technical stuff and then even when you get the, all that down you've got SEO and you've got niche selection and keyword research and a lot of things that um, go into it so what I try and do with the courses is uh, the, the, originally for those of you that are listening to this um, you'll remember Amazon Kickstart 1 and that was like the first Amazon course and I'm confident even if you just have that course um, you you can use that to build profitable Amazon sites um, but out of the th questions I was getting from the kickstart one I released kickstart version 2 and that went more on about the SEO um, <coughs> excuse me more about the panda update um, if you remember that when Google updated their search engine algorithm and um, it went more on about that and then from that I got um, a lot of questions not so much questions but what I could see happening was some people were sticking with it some people weren't so I released Amazon fast track and that wasn't so much a change in the process it was more about how to get the sites built how to motivate yourself and more like a, a sort of seven day um, coaching course that you can follow so everything in the course pretty much stayed the same but how you actually manage your time changed and then from that, um, loads of questions, and I still continue to get them because it's one of the hardest things, uh, traffic generation. I'd say out of all this stuff, the hardest thing is niche selection for people um, because you want to make sure that you get the right niche. And then keyword research and all that stuff. Um, content creation is a huge one. Uh, that takes a lot of time, and there's no real way of getting around that unless you outsource it, and that costs money. Um, and you want to make back that money so it's sort of a catch-22 um, and, and sort of the motivation to do it I find that um, you know the carrying on I guarantee if you, if you follow the course and you carry on you will make money because what I want to do to start the year off is and I know I've been waffling on but I want to go back to basics I want to try and keep there's no point in me sort of releasing all these courses and we lose sight of what they're intended to do now, admittedly, you might have a better way if you've worked with Amazon. This is a way that's working for me that I still use. And it, the, the actual process is how to test niches um, quickly without having to invest too much time on it. Obviously, you have to incest, invest um, some time on the actual site building. But once you've done it, you're... Um, you're up and running and then you get sales and then you expand so I try and keep everything to a minimum um, so that's what we're doing so this site I'm looking at is an example one again it's got a few sales it's not done anything tremendous it was one I set up as an example best boat sets um, and I've got, I've got a checklist here I'll just give you a few what, you, what you're trying to do is you want to have at least three to five pages of content on your site um, now, 
with all of Google's updates, the content is has to be very relevant. And the way you make sure that you've got relevant content is by making it more valuable than other sites. Now, that's the thing, because there'll be a lot of review sites out there, you want to try and really focus on the questions that the people will be asking. And I know, I know that sounds obvious, but if you think about a standard review site, people will build a review site, it will have sort of half spun content on, just sort of trying to get some rankings and that won't work. Or it might work, just by the law of averages, if you do it enough, it might work, but I've found that it's better to have real good quality content on your site and once you've got that you're able to one people will read it more and two you'll get more click through rates and more sales on your home page you you should uh, I've sort of got a checklist here I'm um, sort of reading out but you want to check out Matt Cutts's blog Matt Cutts works for Google and I've mentioned him in the course um, you want to try and include anchor text on your pages that links through to relevant content. Um, like this here, uh, looking at this site, I've used something that we're going to be exploring more in the new Amazon course, um, question-driven content. And it's fairly obvious, um, but there's lots of different ways that you can go about creating it. And it basically works off the, the, the fact that if you focus on the right questions, answering the right questions, you won't have any problems creating content. Um, it, essentially, people have problems creating content because they think, what am I going to write about? Um, and I've got a way that you can write fairly quickly with minimum research, but also give really good, valuable content. And that is, I know I keep on going on about it, but that really will make a difference to your sites and whether you get sales or not. Um, but just as I was going to show you here, by reading through this review of the top boat sets, um, and I've gone on about my top pick here, and you can also have a look at our review of the Challenger 2 boat set. So that's an example. This page admittedly could actually be improved. But if I look here, it links through to the Challenger 2 boat set which is relevant content and then there's a review about the Challenger 2 so there's like three or four different products on there and they all link together um, with anchor text then you need to focus on your calls to action uh, calls to action is basically a call to action will be strong if your content is strong anyway because if you're if you're sort of answering the questions and you're saying look check out this product you can see the best price here people are going to be reading your content more often than not. Um, and you also want to make a call to action fairly obvious as well. At the bottom of the page, or underneath your review, you want to say, look, click here and get the best um, discount. You can look on Amazon when you're looking at a product, you can look for the best discount. Um, you're looking for things like the percentage discount. If there's not a discount, look for offers on free shipping. I know there's an offer... Um, an offer with Amazon Prime where you can get free shipping. It's worth mentioning anything like that on your site because you're engaging more with the customer and you're more likely to get that click through. So you have to make sure your call to action is strong. Um, and then obviously adding pages with relevant links, top YouTube videos. I'm sort of speaking more about the off page stuff but you want to use social media as in the courses to get your site indexed, that's paramount as well. Um, you need to, again we're building the sites quickly, we're getting them up and out there, but you need to make sure that you have the best chance of ranking and you also need to make sure you put stack counter on the site, that will allow you to see your, 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 sorry, your websites will appear in Yahoo and Bing and, and across those search engines first normally. Um, and then you'll start to see positions coming in on, on, on Google. And then you want to have a look at the, um, the sort of positions you're getting, where they're coming through, and then ideally sales will start coming in, and then you expand. There's going to be more on the, the this year, um, the new Amazon course. I'm going to go more into detail about how to expand as well, because um, a lot of you have got sites out there getting a few sales in, and you need to know how to expand and I've also got 
a few other things in the pipeline but I'll leave this video here because it's going well get, getting really long but I just thought I'd give you a few pointers there going back to basics telling you literally like right back at basics how it works and what sort of checklist that you need on your site so um, yeah I'll leave the video there and keep an eye out for an email from me about the, the, the stuff that's coming up this year. Okay guys, I hope you'll uh, start off on the right track and I will speak to you soon.